the Steam Deck. <laughs> it's so cool. But people have done it to death. Like when it comes to YouTube, it's always emulation, gaming on the go, you know, all the stuff that the Steam Deck's meant for. But I'm more obsessed about the software. The actual desktop experience is really what I care about. So when I come into here and let's just hit the Steam menu, let's go to the desktop. And on the desktop, you know, you got your typical like KDE desktop and it's fine. And you can install like flat packs, which is also fine, but it's not a great experience. You can't really leverage Linux to install all the packages you want, get it all great. And I made a video in the past about how to make like the operating system uh, writable. And then you could install stuff through like Yay or uh, Pac-Man, which is the package manager built into SteamOS. The problem with that is, well, when a big Steam update happens, well, you lose all your customization, you lose all your packages, and that just really sucks. So today we're going to fix that. We're going to use Nix. Now, I've covered Nix in the past, and I got to tell you, installing it on the Steam Deck, not just installing it, but installing it in a way that any Steam update just goes through seamlessly without removing any packages. So we can install any Linux package, on the Steam Deck, but we don't lose anything on any update. So this is really kind of keeping the Steam Deck alive as a portable desktop and also a portable gaming system, kind of like an all-in-one system that is just awesome. So in typical fashion, we have my little cheat sheet here that we're gonna actually copy and paste from. Now, the idea from this actually came from Determinate Systems, a blog post they had that enabled Steam or Nix on the Steam Deck while also not affecting the base system at all. So any updates not gonna mess with it, which is amazing. So uh, let's go ahead and start running through this setup and install Nix and show you the power of this. So first thing, I'm gonna actually disable the read-only uh, system for now. Now, the big thing about this is we don't change any base system files. We're adding new system files that shouldn't be overwritten. And they'll just piggyback on the existing ones in Steam. So we're going to just disable this with a sudo SteamOS read-only disable. If you don't have a password on the Steam Deck, just password it up and then set your password. So then you could use sudo commands like this. So now we're gonna just take our thing and create this file, the Nix directory service. And if people are really interested in this, I could probably make a script to just do it all for you, but I haven't done that yet. So we're just gonna copy and paste this file. Let's copy this, paste it into here, write that out. Next file we're gonna do is Nix mount. Let's copy that, sudo vim. Nix mount. And basically what this is doing is just making the dash Nix directory and then binding it to a home Nix directory because the home folder never gets overwritten on updates and this one would solve all our problems. So we're going to actually come into here, paste it in, save that out. Bam. So we got our bind in and then we're going to actually resolve these units. So if anything changes, it will just automatically fix it up for us. So sudo vim paste that in, copy, paste, and we're good. So we've got those three system files created. Now, before we can actually enable these systems, I forgot a step. Let's just do system CTL daemon reload. That's going to reload those daemons. And now we should be able to just type this in. Bam. All right, that's good. And we're just going to install Nix as a daemon. Uh-oh. System rebooted on me. Let's get back to desktop, see where we're at. All right, we're going to copy this command in one more time. All right, let's see if this works. All right, there we go. I think during the enable, it kind of blacked out our screen, which is fine. Uh, do we want to see a more detailed list of what I will do? Nah, I trust you. Can I use sudo? You sure can. Are we ready to continue? Yes. All right, let's enable that. We set our password to the Steam Deck. And now it's going to just do a bunch of really awesome stuff. All right, it is done. So we should be good. Let's enter it to acknowledge. Close out of that. Now let's start installing some packages. What are we missing here? Probably one of the ones I use a lot. Well, that's just regular Vim. What about NeoVim? Ah, see, there is no NeoVim. So what I could do here, 
let's just grab NeoVim with the Nix command. We're gonna come into search packages. And the beauty about like the Nix package manager, if you've never used it before, it just has almost any package. It's a great tool. So let's go NeoVim. Here we go, it's on 0.81. We're gonna go to the Nix ENV, as this is gonna be a dedicated environment specifically for our Steam Deck. We're gonna grab this and see if we can't install NeoVim. So let's paste that guy in. It's installing NeoVim. Okay, that looks good. Let's try NVim. Perfect, there's our NeoVim. So out of all these, these are the packages I have installed right now. A lot of these are installed via Flatpak, and Flatpak's just a bit slower, so you can kind of see that in some of the web page. If I'm launching it, one, two, three, about three or four, probably about three seconds to launch, I think. Let's just uninstall Brave real fast. Let's just hit remove, and then we're going to install Brave through the Nix package. So with Brave uninstalled, let's come back into here, and we're just going to go Nix, ENV, IA, Nix Packages, Brave. All right, that's installed now. Uh, now I think I'm gonna have to uh, remove this thing because that's the .com that was actually a flat pack. And if we look at flat pack list, you can see all these other things are installed through Flatpak, so we can actually start moving those to Nix if we want. Uh, a lot of these emulators I'm probably just going to leave because they play just fine, and I don't want to mess it up. Let's just launch Brave from our command line, and you can see it launches a bit faster than the old way through Flatpak. Uh, let's do that one more time. This time I'm going to pin this to the taskbar, close that out. Let's move that over. And now you should see it says Brave instead of that .com flat pack Brave. So I'm going to click right now. All right, close out. Well, let's relaunch again. All right. Eh, it's still a little bit better. It's not bad. Nothing on. We're going to click it. Yeah. Much more instantaneous. I like that a lot better. Okay, great. I am noticing it didn't add to my start menu. So I'm just going to do a quick workaround. As you see, we are missing Brave, Kitty, InVim. And I want to make sure those dapps top get added to our menu. Uh, so probably the quick and dirty way is to link all these files into our .local bin. So if we look at .local, go into share, applications, and you'll see there's all these right here that are automatically getting loaded. It's just not linking back to this folder so there's definitely going to be a more elegant way. I'm going to think about doing this in the future. But for now, let's just symlink these applications right here. And then if we do it LS, we should see like Kitty, like Kitty Desktop. There it is. We should see Brave Browser right there. That should get us what we need from everything in the Nix directory. And if we look at our internet, there's Brave Web Browser. Pops it up. Icon still didn't show up, which was interesting. And then for NeoVim, that's obviously command line based, so we'd still need to run Kitty for that. Uh, so a very interesting tidbit there. So with that, I'd say, hey, don't rely too much on the flat packs aspect of it. I'm gonna keep working on this. I just wanted to kind of start to show my progress of making like a Steam Deck a true desktop replacement and not just solely relying on flat packs to get us by as they're just a bit slower than your normal native packages where Nix really emulates these quite well. And I could definitely build out a full desktop environment with all the stuff I need. Now, the next thing I kind of want to look into is actually replacing this with like a window manager instead of booting into KDE, booting into just a blank window manager using Wayland. That would be pretty amazing. And then also just kind of looking at the Steam Deck as a portable PC instead of just a portable gaming device made by Valve, uh, where a lot of people have taken that stance. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.